But anyway, welcome. Um, this evening we're talking about how to create your health and fitness vision for 2019. And this is part of the 12 Days of Excuses, we're on day 11. And I'm thrilled to be um, joined this evening by Melanie Moore, who is a mindset coach. So she's going to be walking us through how to create this um, health and fitness vision for 2019. So hi, Melanie. Thank you for joining us. Thanks um, for having me, Sarah. Welcome. I'll just briefly introduce Melanie, um, but correct me if I get any of this wrong, Melanie. Um, Melanie's a mindset coach who helps all her clients uh, find their big vision. She helps set crazy goals and then guides them through on that path to achieve those goals. Um, she uses two techniques. One is um, visualization and one is emotional freedom technique, which you may or may not have heard of. Um, it's also called tapping. So Melanie will talk a bit more about that in a minute. Um, She's also a recognized authority on vision boards, which I think are amazing. I love vision boards. And she's a creator of Tapping Into Abundance and Create the Dream, which are her online programs. Um, she's currently writing her first book. Um, so she's a very, very busy lady. She also has two children. So she can relate to um, most of you busy women out there who are juggling lots and lots of different things. And sometimes when we're doing that, we find that our exercise and our health are sort of way down in the list of priorities. Mm -hmm. um, so thanks, Mel, for joining us. Can you just, um, just elaborate a little bit on how you help your clients find these visions? Okay. Um well, thank you so much for having me. Um, so when I talk about having a big vision, um, you know, sometimes people are very clear on what they want. Um, other times people need a little, bit of guide, a little bit of guidance. But I do find that the health and fitness is usually in the top three of um, health and fitness goals. It could be overhauling their health. It could be overcoming a health challenge. It could be losing weight, gaining weight, or just getting fit. So I do find that... Um, health and fitness is always in the top three. The other two are finances and abundance. And um, the other one is um, job satisfaction and career. So whenever I kind of poll people, the health and fitness is always in the top three. And, um, and there's nothing wrong with having more than one vision, but ultimately we all know that without good health and fitness, it's a foundation for everything. Um, there's no point in having all the other stuff if your health and fitness um, are, um, I can't think of any other word other than pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good word. <laughs> yeah. so if your health and fitness are pants, um, you, um, you've, there's no, you know, the other stuff, um, it, it's, it's a foundation to build everything upon, you know, being full of energy and vitality. So having, and I think, you know, wherever you are in your health and fitness journey, whatever age you are, I truly believe that you can transform it and make big changes. Now, I don't claim to be any fitness guru at all, but health and fitness is important to me for all those reasons. So, um, yeah, I think a lot of people think of it in terms of, I don't know, weight loss and, um, but I think energy and just feeling good about yourself, I think they're the key things because, you know, they gives you all the endorphins or the feel good hormones. Yeah, we've been talking about that this last sort of 11 days when we've been talking about different excuses. And I've been talking very much about, you know, exercising for health and that being the priority and not necessarily aesthetics. It's about feeling good and, and being around for longer, being around for our grandchildren and, and doing all the things that we want to do. So, yeah, absolutely with you on that one. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, and as for making vision boards, funnily enough, one of the very first vision boards I made was I'm trying to think how many years ago it was, I put seven or eight years ago. And it was all around health and fitness because at that time, I think my daughter was, um, so my daughter's my second born, my children are almost 14 and 11 now. But I remember after having my daughter, it, it took a little while for the, to shift the weight and I think you do get that message from society that you know your body goes downhill after having babies and um and I kind of let that become my reality for a bit but then I kind of thought no actually I really want to do something about this but 
I remember I had this weight goal on my vision board and it was the weight goal I was on my wedding day and I thought that's the weight I want to be again but I actually came to realize that the weight had nothing to do with it because I was feeling really crappy at the time I'm feeling really frumpy and just un, you know with no, low energy um tired all the time um very stressed you know having young children but actually the numbers on the scale didn't actually matter at all so I then made a second vision board quite quickly focusing on how I wanted to feel which was you know feeling sexy again feeling energetic feeling good about myself um you know raising my self-confidence and my um so I thought th these are what I want to go after and I think when you're feeling all those things it doesn't really matter what it says on the scales yeah yeah you're absolutely right so you work with your clients creating vision boards but also you you combine that with another technique called emotional freedom technique Yes. Could you talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. Sure some people may have heard of it, this tapping technique, but yeah. not everyone really knows what it's all about and how it works. Mm, well, I think the first time anyone comes across it, first time I came across it, you look at it and think, really? You know, it just looks <laughs> crazy. Um, you know, this person standing there tapping their face and um, their body saying th random things. And But actually, it's becoming really well known um there are quite a lot of schools now who are um um teaching children the technique to help them during exam times um so in a nutshell what eft stands for is emotional freedom technique and it does exactly that um if you think about it well, as human beings we are governed by our emotions and at any one time you can tell me how you're feeling so so the topic around health and fitness you know, and emotions govern absolutely every single aspect of our life. Um, and this is what I'm kind of passionate and sharing with people now that we need to really tune into these emotions that we're feeling um, and just kind of check in with ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis. Sometimes even several times, your emotions can fluctuate throughout the day. Um, you know, getting the kids ready for school in the morning, that, that can send your emotion. <laughs> emotional yeah, stress levels soaring. <laughs> get your shoes on get your shoes on yeah but it's eight, eight times and it still hasn't happened get in the car. <laughs> uh, so um and then you know then they've gone to school then you're calm again and obviously if you're running your own business then that has its own emotional roller coaster but when it comes to um you know food as well and and exercise because it requires a certain level of motivation to get you know to get yourself going um but then it also like when it comes to eating as well uh you know and certainly i, I can be guilty of this y you know we often reach out for food um to satisfy an emotion you know it's, comfort, it's called comfort eating for a reason um i eat when i procrastinate when i'm avoiding doing a task i'll that's when i tend to kind of yeah. eat things I shouldn't um, but then I just kind of have to recognize actually why am I eating right now what emotion am I suppressing by reaching out for that thing that I shouldn't be eating um, so that's kind of the food aspect how tapping works um, works an absolute treat with cravings craving sugary things um, yeah. it also um, is a great motivational tool as well to you know so if you really can't be bothered to do the exercise routine or you know whatever you know you should be doing i can i'm happy to do a round of tapping if you like um that would be great yeah be motivated to exercise but i think the other thing i like to look at are you know the consequences of not doing i think that's a really good motivator the consequences of not exercising the not getting fit of not being healthy um and ultimately the consequences of not doing something should be a big enough motivator because what we may see is like a steady decline in health and fitness but you know compound that over the years it's just going to get worse and worse but what if we reverse that and we just did a little bit of exercise each day you know the compound of that is going to be really great as well yeah i think yeah and i think that's right a lot lots of people think that you know i have to exercise and that means i have to do an hour 
every time. And so I should probably be doing that three or four times a week. And that just seems so overwhelming. And it's not necessarily sustainable when we're racing around after the children, running a business or, you know, working long hours, whatever we're doing, mm. you know, committing to doing that four times a week. And then you've got, you know, three days in that week to make an excuse for not doing it. So you just every day and by you get to the end of the week, you've probably maybe done one hour if you're lucky. Whereas if you try and commit to doing short workouts, you're absolutely right. 15 minutes every single day and weaving that, into your lifestyle mm. it doesn't seem such a big deal but actually the results that you ch achieve doing that you're you're far more likely to achieve results than someone that's bought an expensive gym membership and doesn't actually ever get there particularly, particularly if you're doing at home workouts because you can do them in your pajamas <laughs> you know you don't have to you don't have to wear fancy leggings you don't have to put your makeup on you don't have to you know go out of the house in the winter you can literally roll out of bed onto a mat <laughs> and start working out 15 minutes you're done and you're done and dusted for the day um and i think it's interesting what you're saying about motivation as well that that does fade over time of course and and actually it's the mindset that's really important it's you know when we have those those low times where we just don't have the willpower we still need to have that set mindset and this vision um that's ahead of us that we are working towards whilst being mindful of the fact if we don't move towards that vision, then, you know, as you say, what's sort of left behind, you know, where else are we going if we don't do it? Mm, absolutely. Um, yeah. And that's why I really love kind of coupling up vision boards with that because, you know, you've got a visual focus of what you're focusing every day and it could be a picture of you from I don't know 10 years ago looking great in a bikini it could even be a picture of you know somebody else um looking great in a bikini that's something you aspire to looking at but also I'd really try and incorporate images of kind of you know really happy you know people looking healthy and feeling um yeah I, I wouldn't necessarily put a number goal I would always no. always go after the feeling goal because you know it's it, there are skinny people who are unhappy and there's no of point course, yeah. being skinny and miserable. Um, you've got to be happy where you are. Right? And think making happiness and, you know, the motivation, um, the daily goal is just going to kind of keep um, bringing more of that to you. So, yeah, um, yeah I, I really think just having that vision of, you know, you know, you and your favorite outfit of, of yeah, just pictures yeah. of times when you felt really good, um, really good in your skin. And it's, it's interesting when you talk to people about goals, uh, whatever that goal might be, you know, um, you know, wearing my size X jeans again, or, you know, it tends to be, as you say, related to weight or aesthetics, the way that um, you look. But if you drill down and say, well, why? Why do you need to be that weight or that size? Well, because I'll feel more confident. Well, okay, so why will you feel more confident? And when you drill down, actually, all the reasons you're right do come down to a feeling. So yes. your advice would be for people that are watching, busy women that are thinking 2019, it's the year, my New Year's resolutions, I'm going to totally nail it. I'm not going to be pants anymore at this. Um, your advice would be to put together a vision board and just find pictures that... Um, they associate with that feeling if they achieve Absolutely. the goal. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. it'd be feelings like, you know, feeling confident, feeling um, sexy, even feeling, and, you know, nothing wrong with that, you know, wanting to feel. Um, sometimes you really just don't. And if you're, whatever you're not feeling right now, it's kind of the opposite, you know, well, what do I want more of? Um, I wanna... We want more of how we felt before children, don't we? <laughs> yeah. What's that like? <laughs> Yeah. It was a long time ago, don't remember. <laughs> like the joy as well, just feeling more, more joy in your daily life. Because I know a lot of kind of, you know, I know some incredible women, you know, um, and a lady who I met recently, you know, large, you know, plus size model who is gorgeous and so confident and so self assured and um, all these, you know, amazing qualities that you don't even, you know, you don't even notice you know the size or anything but um and i think that confidence and feeling good about yourself these got to be the number one goals um that you know to go for um yeah 
Yeah, brilliant. So we've been talking this week about um, lots of different excuses that women use not to work out. So the top ones have got to be, I don't have time, I don't have energy, I don't have the willpower or motivation, um, I don't know where to start, I hate exercising. All of these excuses that we, you know, we've all used some or all of them at some point in our life. Mm -hmm. When we're approaching now the new year with the new year's resolutions and everything, um, can you perhaps walk us through a tapping, a short tapping session where, you know, because I know you use sort of statements or affirmations, as you call, to try and overcome that negative mindset and these excuses that keep going around in our head. Okay. So, um, let's talk about excuses really quickly because they are just excuses and nearly all excuses you can flip them on head you know the excuse of time is just nonsense you know i bet you you can find 15 minutes a day to scroll through facebook or yeah. um, some other kind of instagram social media um you know what if you just chunked out 15 minutes of your time you know and a cut out distractions so, so yeah time is a really rubbish excuse um and, you know, not liking exercise, I'd say, you know, there's always going to be something that is fun to do if it's really, you know, because there's lots of kind of really quite, I see some of these and I don't think that you're advertising this, you know, sometimes I see people in the park doing these boot camp things, lugging tires yeah, around absolutely. in the freezing cold. I thought, that don't look like fun to me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but some people that's, you know, they, it floats their boat. So why not? And I think there are, there is something for everyone. So, um, Okay, let's use, um, I'm just trying to think what would be a good one to tap on. Um, lack of motivation? Yes, that would be great. Yeah. Okay. So, That's you know, good. you're feeling like, oh, I should exercise, but I really can't be bothered right now. It's dark, it's a bit cold. Um, let's just watch this morning and have a cup of tea and biscuit instead. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm setting the scene here. So, um, <laughs> What I would then do is, but you, but you know, there's a little part of you that wants to do it. So um, I'm adapting, you know, just one of kind of my motivational rounds of tapping because I do do something very similar myself sometimes. If I need to get something done, like there's a project, I just, you know, I've got an email to send, can't be bothered, just quick round, get myself psyched up and focused to the point of, so what I'm doing here in this round of tapping, first I'm going to address the feeling of how we're feeling right now, which is can't be bothered lack of motivation the next sequence that we're going to step into it's all going to be the same round is letting go of that feeling and the third round is tapping into the motivation it's actually going to be using motivational language so i would start off with anyone who's kind of watching this if they're watching on the replay right now assess how much do you want to get up and exercise right now out of 10 so 10 being um, I'm up, you know, I'm, you know, I'm ready for this, in which case you won't need to tap or if it's pretty low one, two, then, and you want to get your motivation levels up, then yeah, give it a go. And then at the end of the round of tapping, I'll ask the same question, you know, what are your motivation levels like out of 10 now? So I'm going to, um, yeah, right now it's, I don't know, Tuesday night, it's quite late, got in from football. I don't really feel like exercising right now. So <laughs> Mine's about three, two or three, I'd say. So um, I'm just going to ask you to do as I do, say as I say. And Sarah, if you could be my echo and repeat after me. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, so it's very safe. There's, um, you know, there's no side effects. It's um, very gentle. And I should have said it's like a cross between acupuncture and psychology. And we are just literally going to be tapping on these acupressure points. Um, I'll run through the points really quickly so this is called the karate chop point um just underneath the little finger we move here to the eyebrow point where the eyebrow meets the bridge of the nose and mm -hmm. you can use one or two fingers either side of the face then the side of the eye on the bony part and i just use two fingers and just tap quite lightly um, yep. under the eye which is again the bony part under the nose chin collarbone which is kind of um kind of around there a couple of inches down from you know your little that dippy bit and then a couple of inches across now i just use the flat of my hand then we have under the arm now this is where it starts looking really odd <laughs> um, <laughs> where your bra strap lies if you're wearing a bra and then the top of the head this is you know the crown crown point mm -hmm. 
Okay, so they're the points. And again, either side, either hand. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get started. Okay. Even though I really don't feel like exercising right now. Even though I really don't feel like exercising right now. I really don't feel motivated. I really don't feel motivated. I really can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered. I choose to deeply and completely. I choose to deeply and completely. Love and accept myself anyway. Love and accept myself anyway. Even though I really can't be most, sorry, I really can't be bothered to exercise. Even though I really can't be bothered to exercise. It's, take, it's requiring too much effort. It's requiring too much effort. I choose to love and forgive myself anyway. I choose to love and forgive myself anyway. Even though I really don't feel like exercising right now. Even though I really don't feel like exercising right now. I'm open to the possibility. I'm open to the possibility. Of changing my mind around this. Of changing my mind about this. And I choose to love and honor myself. And I choose to love and honor myself. Okay, go to the eyebrow point now. I really can't be bothered to exercise right now. I really can't be bothered to exercise right now. It is, it's requiring too much effort. It's requiring too much effort. And it requires me to get up out of my comfy seat. It requires me to get up out of my comfy seat. I have to go and change my clothes. I have to go and change my clothes. I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. But I'm going to let go of that feeling now. But I'm going to let go of that feeling now. I'm going to release that feeling. I'm going to release that feeling. Let go, letting go of this lack of motivation. Letting go of this lack of motivation. I'm clearing it away now. I'm clearing it away now. I'm letting go of this lazy feeling. I'm letting go of this lazy feeling. Letting go of this feeling of being unmotivated. I'm letting go of this feeling of being unmotivated. I'm releasing it now. I'm releasing it now. Because I know I'll feel good afterwards. Because I know I'll feel good afterwards. I'll feel much better than I'm feeling right now. I'll feel much better than I'm feeling right now. And it's just going to be for a few minutes. And it's just going to be for a few minutes. And think of all the good it's going to do me. And think of all the good it's going to do me. It's going to flood my body with oxygen. It's going to flood my body with oxygen. It's going to raise my feel-good hormones. It's going to raise my feel-good hormones. I'm going to feel more energised. I'm going to feel more energised. And I'm going to feel really proud of myself at the end of it. And I'm going to feel really proud of myself at the end of it. So I'm allowing myself to become more motivated. So I'm allowing myself to become more motivated. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And I actually want to do this. And I actually want to do this. Allowing myself to feel more and more motivated. Allowing myself to feel more and more motivated. Focusing on the end result. Focusing on the end result. And how good I'm going to feel afterwards. How good I'm going to feel afterwards. I feel really pleased with myself. I feel really pleased with myself. Because I always do every time I exercise. Because I always do every time I exercise. So that's the feeling I'm going for. So that's the feeling I'm going for. Feeling of accomplishment. Feeling of accomplishment. Burning those calories. Burning those calories. Getting my energy going. Getting my energy going. Raising my vitality. Raising my vitality. Feeling more and more motivated to do this. Feeling more and more motivated to do this. I actually want to get up now. I actually want to get up now. I actually want to do some exercise now. I actually want to do some exercise now. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. Let's do this. Let's do this. One last round. Feeling better and better. Feeling better and better. Feeling more and more energized. Feeling more and more energized. And that's only at the thought of it. And that's only at the thought of it. Imagine how good I'm going to feel. Imagine how good I'm going to feel. When I actually get going. 
when I actually get going. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. I'm really ready for this. I'm really ready for this. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Deep breath in. And exhale. I actually feel like I'm going to do some exercise now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this on the replay, give us a thumbs up if yeah. you've then done this and got up and done some exercise. 15 minutes. Give us a thumbs up if you've done it. That yeah. was great. Thank you, Melanie. You're really welcome. Interesting. Really, really interesting. And I, I only learned about tapping like 12 months ago when I first met you. Longer than that now, actually. And yeah, it's fabulous. Once you, once you learn about it, you you see it everywhere, and you you know, you see lots more people talking about it. It's it's really um, a powerful, powerful technique to be using to help with your mindset alongside the the vision boards as well. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. I'm sure that would be really, really helpful for everyone um, that is watching. If people are interested in finding out more about what you do, what's the best way of them getting in contact with you? Um, best place to find me is either on my Facebook page, which is um, I am Melanie Moore is the name of the Facebook page. I'm also on Instagram, same handle, I am Melanie Moore. Um, and I have a vision board course at the moment. Now, sorry to really confuse everyone. I'm just transitioning in a name change at the moment. So um, I do the, the vision board course is, um, is still at my old website, which is melaniebundock.net slash create the dream. But I can post a link to that in the comments afterwards. Yes, do. That would be great. So I'm sure lots of people will find this interesting. Um, I actually have a really exciting announcement because, as you know, I run my own um, monthly membership, my workout membership, which is um, ballet workouts for busy women at home, 15 minute workouts every single day. And my membership's normally closed, but I'm opening it tonight um, for all those people that have just tapped and feel like they need to move. <laughs> so it's opening, it's only open for 48 hours, a quick flash sale before Christmas. So if people are asking you, what can we get you for Christmas? You know, I'm being asked that a lot at the moment. Then send them that direction. I'll post the link um, underneath Melanie's, underneath this video. Um, and you can have a look at that. If you've got any questions, let me know. But that will close Thursday night. So if you're interested in the backstage membership, come and join us. We would love to have you. But I just want to say thank you so much, Melanie, for joining us. That has been really, really interesting. And we finished the 12 Days of Excuses series tomorrow. So that was a lovely sort of um, lovely end, a crescendo at the end of our um, series, um, which is going to really help people with their motivation. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you so much for um, having me. Yes, have Sorry a lovely night. Sorry, the crazy night. <laughs> <laughs> Go and have a lemon sip. <laughs> well, thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Melanie. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.